Okay, this is actually take three. And all right, I'm not gonna record this video over again. The first time I had someone call because I'm still recording from my phone. The second time my mom yelled across the damn house. And then now we'll just see what happens. Let me get this strap away. So anyways, ew. I am going to be getting a vlogging camera. Um, I want to make more um, YouTube videos. Excuse me. I want to make more YouTube videos. I'm going to be getting the G7X. I'm not going to pay full price because I... Alright, I like to do um, bargain shopping. So if you guys know about Poshmark or this app called Mercury, there are people that sell their things on there. Like, you know, you can check the condition. You can, like, write the seller about you know is it any is it scratched up you can just ask them about the camera or the item you want to get before you purchase it so i am going to go in there and get one i found a brand new one for 400 i think for 220 dollars so um you know once you purchase the item you get it you check it out make sure it's okay if it is you can rate the seller the um sale is final if it's not okay then you just have to um I think you have to select like item not as described and you like write what's wrong with it, take pictures, send it to the customer service and then like you'll get your money back. Then you'll have to send the item back. So yeah. Anyways, um I did my hair. This part is sticking out myself. It's the crochet dreads or the fox locks or whatever. I did this last night. Um, because I when I go in labor, I kinda want just something quick and easy to throw up. But I think I put too much hair and I don't think all this can fit in the ponytail. More well, it can. So I kind of just wanted something quick and easy. So when I go into labor and then like, you know, when I get home, you know, I don't have to really be, you know, do my hair at all. Anyways, let's get to the basic part of this video. So what's in my diaper bag video? Um, I do have this Skip Pop Grand Central diaper, diaper bag. It's pretty, it's definitely big. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but um it's pretty huge um so what i did before i packed this but before i packed her diaper bag was that um before i packed her diaper bag i went on youtube and i watched moms that actually been through the birth experience so i can actually know what exactly i need to pack so i did not pack diapers because i know the hospital provides you with diapers because if i didn't know that that would have packed a bunch of diapers you don't need any diapers <clears throat> unless you just want to bring your own well I, I i mean i guess this is my first time going through this so i didn't pack any diapers i packed one diaper in here so in this first pouch there's a diaper and a wipe inside here i got this from when i registered for babies r us and um, yeah so that's that's the only diaper i brought is this here i noticed that i have gotten big i need to show y'all oh yeah and my belly has dropped i don't know if you guys can see my belly has, let me try to do this. I don't want the table inside the the frame, so I'm gonna see if I can do this right here. All right, that's better. All right, so my belly has dropped a lot. I am 38 weeks. So according to my app, I have one week and five days to go. All right, so in the second pouch, I'm sorry if I'm getting off topic or I'm like all over the place, but my brain is scattered right now. Um. There's nothing in here. So with the Grand, the Skip Pop Grand Central, there are two pouches up front. Then when you come to the middle, you have your three main sections up here in the middle. So what happened to, um, all right, I'm missing something out of here. Cause there was, I don't even know what happened to it. Oh, I just bit my tongue. All right. Anyway, so in this section here, I have her mittens here. I did have a comb and brush in here, but I don't know what I did with it. That is so strange. Okay. Oh, it's right here. So in this section here, I have her mittens, and then I have her comb and brush. I got this from a baby shower. I'm hoping she has hair. She better have hair. I did not have heartburn. Now, here, if you have heartburn, that you your baby comes up with a lot of hair, but I don't believe in any of that stuff at all because my stepsister did not have heartburn at all and my nephew has when i say he has a lot of hair i mean it, i thought he had it looked like he came in with a black hat on like he had so much hair so hopefully my daughter has hair because i'm going to be bringing this um also have some 
receiving blankets in this section here. I got this for my baby shower. You guys can see that. Okay. And on top of that, in this section here, I also have some hats that I purchased for her. Because I want, excuse me, I want her to have like a little bow. I know the hospital hats, they don't really have bows, but I kind of wanted to buy her something that had a bow on it. So I kind of want, I want her to wear this when she comes out. All right. And then I also have another hat here. This is, this was passed down to me from my stepsister. It looks like Winnie the Pooh. But I know Winnie the Pooh isn't pink. All right. So that's it for this section here. There's nothing else in there. Now moving along to this big section. This what, to me, this what, this what really makes this bag big here is this middle section here. Like, this is where all the space is. So, I am packed a blanket. I bought her this blanket, y'all. It is so soft. Oh, my God. It's so soft. It looks like this up close. That's how the pattern is. It's, it's nice. It's very, very soft. I got this from Burlington Coat Factory. Yes, this blanket is really soft and it's really, really nice. So I'm going to be bringing this with me here. That was $8 at Brothers and Coat Factory. Um, let me slot back some. All right. And then also in this, I have her little footies. They may be too big, but that's fine. I mean, at least she'll be warm. I bought this off of Mercury, that um, app I was telling you guys about in the beginning. I got this from Mercury. They came in like a pack. They had um, pink, um, gray, brown, black, and white. But I got rid of the white. I don't like the white ones. We got these. Um, pacifier. I don't know if she's going to be using that or not. I just, I just put it in there. Nursing pads. The organic nursing pads. I had this in my registry. And someone bought it for me. And I thank God for that. Because like normally, people really don't buy, go on your registry to just kind of get whatever they feel like but i'm glad someone went on a registry and they saw that this is what i picked out so kudos to you all right and more socks these are zero to six months and these socks are extremely thick that's the only reason why i put them in here because it is um, december going into january and i don't know how the weather's going to be when she gets here so i did put pack her these socks because these are very very thick so these are socks now moving on to her outfits Okay, so let's get started. So basically, let me set this back here for a second. All right, so basically, as far as outfits, um, pants. Okay, more pants. I bought, well, I'm going to show you like this. Three pair of pants to go along with these. I don't know, I don't know how long we're going to be in the hospital, so I bought three pair of pants to go along with these onesies that I, I purchased her. These are so cute. I love the pocket on the side. These came in a pack all together. And there's a black one upstairs. Looks so cute. Okay. All right, those, um, that's not it for, I have a few more outfits. Like I said, I I purchased those from Target. They came in a pack of four. The gray one, the pink one, the white one, and the there's a black one that I have upstairs. I love black, but I didn't put that one in here. Um, I don't know how the weather's going to be when she goes home. I don't know if it's going to be, like, super cold. Because, like, down here in Atlanta, the weather is so wishy-washy. Like, I'm pretty sure if, you, if you're from Atlanta, you already know that. Like, right now, it's in the upper 60s. Last week, it was snowing. In the, in like in the 40s and now it's back getting warm again so you never know what you're going to get with the weather down here so i kind of like mixed up a few of her outfits but if it is super cold what i packed was this this is so i love the design on here this onesie and then i'm, I'm going to put this over her here so i don't i didn't want to put a long one under here and then have this because this is pretty thick I know newborns get hot pretty quick, so I didn't want to overheat her. So this, and then when we have visitors or, um, I think I may let her wear this like the second day when we have vis visitors. Cause like on the first day, I don't want really too many visitors. Yeah, I kind of want to like, you know, rest up and let me and my family and my boyfriend kind of like soak everything in. And like the next day 
we can have people coming over or whatever. So, oh, here's another pair of pants as well. Um, all right, so this is what I'm talking about here. Hello world, I'm Zoe. Um, I showed these in my previous video with the, um, with my um, organization um, video. Um, my friend made these for me for my baby shower. So this is the first one, Hello World, I'm Zoe. And then it goes up to Hello Zoe is one month, two months. It's like little stickers, but she made me some shirts out of them. So I thought that was very, very creative and very, very neat. So yes, this is so cute. And then I will, of course she won't be wearing this by, by itself because it's gonna be cold. So I want her to wear this under this here. So yes, that's it for her outfits. Um, she has a lot of stuff to choose that I can go from. See, this is the section here that I was talking about. You see how big this is? Look at my hand. My arm, I mean, look at that. The thing is huge. Um, and then in the back here, I have a little, um, what is this thing called? It says a soothing snuggle buddy. This is what um, one of my older elderly friends got her. I call her Mima because she's like in her 80s or whatever. But she got her this. This is so cute. I, I love this a lot. It's kind of warm outside. All right. Sorry, y'all. That's pretty much it. Um, and then I also have... this boppy pillow that I purchased here. I like this one because it comes off. You can take this whole pink thing off and wash it. So this is perfect. And I apologize about a few minutes ago, but I told you I'm not recording this video over again. Like I don't even know how to edit yet. So I don't even know how, to, how I'm gonna take that out, but it's fine. But this is the pillow that I got here. It's definitely big. I'm gonna take this with me so I can, cause I'm gonna be breastfeeding. So I can put this around me and then I can have her up here like this. This is this is so crazy that I'm even doing a diaper bag video. Like I'm about to be a mom, y'all. Oh my god, I'm so I don't know. I don't know how to feel yet. Like I, I have I haven't even had my bag packed yet, and I'm 38 weeks. And I don't have her bassinet set up. My room isn't arranged around. I haven't cleaned my carpet yet, so I'm gonna be getting a, a carpet cleaner. Sorry. Take out my gum. Um, stick it on this napkin. I don't even have a carpet cleaner yet. I was going to get my carpet clean. They haven't came in yet. And it's basically, I guess I just feel, I don't want to say overwhelmed, but I just feel like everything is so unreal. Even though I see her growing, I feel her moving, everything is just still so unreal to me. And I don't want to get emotional right now. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But yeah, it's just amazing. Like this whole journey has been amazing. I'm going to make a video like covering it, all my pregnancy, like, my whole experience because it has, it, this nine months have flown past. Like, I mean, it went by so quickly. Anyways, oh, let me show you this. So this here, and then I did get me a new diaper bag, y'all. I had to. Like I saw this at Brunson Coat Factory. Look at this. Isn't this so nice? I love the color of this. This is really, really nice. Let me hold it back here. This is not as big as the Skip Hop Grand Central. It's a bit smaller, but, um, and the material is definitely, is great. Now, the original price, like I said, I am a bargain shopper. The original price of this bag retails for $158. See here? The original price of this bag retails for $158, and I got it for $60. So, they do have good deals out there. This diaper bag is very sturdy. It stands up. I mean, like the material is awesome. One thing that I really do like about this diaper bag um, is by Betsy Johnson. So I'm thinking with this, with the Skip Hop Grand Central, I'm gonna be using this more so as her like sleeping bag, like when she goes to spend night at her grandmother's house or something like that, she can use that. And this is gonna be her everyday everyday diaper back here um but this is by betsy johnson i don't know the um it's well it's pink and gray but i don't know the exact name of it 
but there are two pouches on the side, two pouches up front, one pouch in the back here. Ooh, excuse me. One pouch in the back. And um, it does have stroller straps in the inside as well. Let me take all this stuff out. It looks like this in the inside, like that. And it kind of holds everything together, if that makes sense. Like, if I would put all the stuff that was in her grand... Well, all, everything couldn't fit in her grand central bag into here. But if I did put most of the stuff in there, it would still be kind of, like, stiff, if that makes sense. It wouldn't be, like, floppy and all over the place. So this bag really does hold everything together. And one thing I do like is this padded... Um, this padded changing pad here dog this thing is so thick so i know for a fact if i have to change her she's going to be very very comfortable so this is so nice and it's extremely thick like i can even i wish you guys can feel this but this is very very thick so yes that's it for this video um uh, i like this type of bag a lot well yeah it does have um shoulder straps to it here it does have shoulder straps like this of course, you don't, they're not this long. We get to connect them, then you, you know, go like that. But anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video. I do want to mention, y'all, that I had to get rid of my Jeep Wrangler. Sadly, like, I love that car so, well, it's not even, well, a Jeep. I love that Jeep so much, but due to the comfort level and, like, the my, my lift kit, my mud tires I had on there, it wasn't really suitable for my daughter and I, so I did get a new car. Now, I am going to get my Wrangler back. Don't get me wrong because I'm a Jeep girl all the way. I'm going to get my Wrangler back in the next, in probably like three year, three or two years, I'm going to get it back. Um, not the same one, of course, but I do want to get a black one. I am going to put, you know, a lift on it like I like I had previously, but I want to keep my new car as well. Um, I would have kept my Jeep um, if I had like a car to switch in and out of, but... The back seat wasn't comfortable, like, of course. Well, this, I, mine was a 2016, and it didn't have um, the air vents in the back. It didn't have heated seats in the back. It didn't have, you know, um, an airbag in the back and all that stuff. And then it was a hard top. So, like, Lord forbid, like, you know, if we would take that off, like, during the summertime, like, you know, we'd get into an accident and we'll flip over. Like, the whole roof is exposed. Like, you, you know, you just, I mean, you guys know, you, you've seen the Jeep Wrangler before. You know, like, the doors come off. The roof comes off, everything comes off. And I just I, I just wanted a safer vehicle for me and my daughter. So, and then also too, my payments on this car is a lot lower. So I'm saving $300 a month because I traded my Jeep in. So I am very thankful for that. So I have more money to put aside for my daughter and I. So I'm really excited. Um, I still got a Jeep. It's a Jeep Grand Cherokee, but the Jeep Grand Cherokee is more like on the comfort level, if that makes sense. It has, I have leather seats in the front, I have navigation. Um, my daughter, she has um, heated, look at those deers. Sorry, I got distracted. I have deers in my backyard. Um, they are gone. Somebody must be after them. All right, anyways, my daughter has heated seats in the back. Um, the, seats, the seats recline, like in my Wrangler, the seats did not recline at all. Like it was just like a straight, it was like you were just sit, sitting straight up. Like I know anybody. If you have had been in the Jeep Wrangler, you know, sitting in the back seat is not comfortable at all. Like, you are so uncomfortable. Like, I say after three hours, you kind of want to, you know, get out, stretch, or whatever like that. So, I made a decision to get rid of my Wrangler due to comfort-wise and due to, you know, saving my money. So, yeah. That was it. But I am definitely getting my Jeep back. Like, I don't understand. Like, it kind of killed me to get rid of my wrangler because that was my dream car um i saved up so much for it but when you have children you have to make sacrifices and i know at the end of the day i did the right thing and later on down the line my daughter is really going to appreciate like mom you, you gave up your dream car for me like yeah honey i did like i really really did like but anyways i, I love my new car it's definitely comfortable we have a panoramic sunroof so it's the the jeep grand cherokee um, it's a 2017, the limited edition it is very comfortable. Oh my gosh, y'all. It has heated, um, like I, it does have, like I said, it does have heated seats and it has like vented seats up where you can like turn your air vents on and you have like air blowing on your back. It's so, it's so relaxing. So like this vehicle is definitely much more suitable for my daughter and I. Anyways, this video is going to 20 minutes. I don't want to bore you guys, but I'm going to show you guys my belly and how I look. So this is how I look now. 
like I said, I have dropped a lot. Um, look at this. Woo! My brother say I have two belly buttons. No, I, my belly ring was right here, and I took it out, and it just got darker or whatever. So, but this is how I look now, guys. And I do want to show y'all a picture how I look before, because I feel like now that I'm looking at myself, I look really chubby. Like I have a like a little chubby face. Um, but I was definitely a lot slimmer, so I am going to insert a picture right now. Peace.